Hello Tarot viewers, welcome to our uh, Whistling Hermit channel uh, entitled Listen to the Plants. Okay, so you might be wondering, oh, what happened to Whistling Hermit? He's now having plant videos instead of tarots and crystal ball readings. Okay, well, <clears throat> the reason why we have plant videos is that plants are also like tarot cards and like also or oracle, uh, certain oracles like crystal balls also. They are uh, portals to knowledge that comes from the universe uh, it's part of our intuitive growth is related to being able to listen also to the messages that we can receive from nature and so uh, since this channel is dedicated to helping you develop your intuition and helping us to listen more to the messages from the spirit we already came up with this channel which is uh, listen to the plants okay so um, what we will try is that in this next in the succeeding videos that we will have we will just try to see what are the insights about life that we can learn from the plants for today our guest for today is Haworthia concolor so this is a succulent plant that grows to about a size of six inches now this is an example of an adult plant no so it is a uh, succulent plant prefers to uh, cooler places they prefer indirect sunlight and they don't want much water they just just enough water for just to make the soil moist so oftentimes if you are in a temperate climate uh, putting it in a cold place and then watering it at least once a week will make this plant to grow healthily. Okay, so what insight can we get from, from the Haworthia concolor today? Okay, for today, I want you to look at the side of this plant. I'm going to tip it sideways and what you see here is that under this adult plant and in between its leaves, is hidden a new plant that is growing you see here this is a new plant that is growing it somehow symbolizes the insights that we receive from the spirit or from the universe or from the divine or from god oftentimes uh, if you when you deepen already your spiritual joint when you deep uh, deepen uh, your insights when you become more intuitive and you, your your spiritual journey deepens no uh we start to be more aware of the gifts that we receive from the spirit or from the universe or from God. And these gifts we need to take care of. They are like little plants that we need to nurture. Uh, we need to be discerning in sharing it. I mean, we do not just indiscriminately share the gifts that we receive from the spirit to everybody. For example, uh, if this is just a beginning idea, you cannot just completely share it immediately to other people. You need to nurture it first, to let it grow first. And when the time is right, when the, plan, when the idea is already ready to be shared to the world, then you can share it to the world. But in its infancy stages, it is good to keep, to keep it to ourselves for a while. Or if we need to share it, let us discern to which people that we can share it with. Why? Because when you share a new idea or a new inspiration from the Spirit immediately to other people, we might put it into a situation where it will find hindrances for it to grow. Okay. For example, if you share it with somebody who is competing with you, sometimes these people might unscrupulously take the idea from you and, uh, and sort of... Uh, Tell that it belongs to them okay so they will some people might steal the idea from you and then uh, appropriate that idea to themselves now there is a reason why the universe gave it to you the reason why the universe shared to you that idea is because the universe believes that in your care this idea will grow and that you will be able to present it and share it to the world more generously and in a wonderful way it's like uh, there is uh, some songs are sung better by some people okay so it's like that there is a reason why the universe shared it with you so you need to nurture it and take care of it for example also if there are some people who are competing with you they could even put some obstacles and prevent you from being able to make this idea grow so there is a need for you to nurture it so i think this is the wisdom that we can learn right now from haworthia from the Haworthia plant when a new gift when you receive a new gift from the universe uh, do not just share it immediately to the rest of the world nurture it first allow it to grow 
there is a time for everything. When the right time comes, then you can share it to the world. But in its infancy, you need to nurture it. You need to listen to the Spirit. Because oftentimes also, the new idea that we receive, you do, you do not immediately see the whole picture or the big picture of everything. Oftentimes, they come in, in, in stages. And uh, you only see a certain distance from the idea that you have been given. You only see uh, uh, shades or portions of it, but you do haven't seen the big picture. So you need to give it time to evolve so that the big picture will come and things will become clearer. So it's a work in progress. But you need to nurture it and you need to take good care of it so that it will grow. And at the same time, you need to protect it also. So I guess this is the insight that we can get from this plant right now. I hope it has been fruitful for you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you more in the next videos that will come in this uh, series, uh, Listen to the Plants. Well, until next time, have a great day.